Well, I can't believe it's 10 years since Liz and I started Ripple Africa. This is a short film about how Ripple Africa started and how it's developed into what it is today. It all began at the end of September 2002 when Jeff and I were on holiday traveling south on the Lakeshore Road in Malawi. We missed the turning to Makuzi Beach Lodge and instead of turning back, we carried on and discovered Mwaya Beach. We arrived at Mwaya Beach, which at the time was a rather run-down budget tourist lodge. We stayed for one night, but we fell in love with the place and the area. Harry, who was the cook, told us that the American owner, Kristin, was interested in selling the property. We met Kristin in Edinburgh on our return, and she was willing to sell us the property on condition that we honoured the placements of some overseas volunteers she had recruited. Once we had bought Moya Beach, the next question was what we do with it. We had no desire to run a tourist lodge, so we decided we would like to help the community in the local area. In May 2003, the charity Ripple Africa was born and initially we had 12 Malawian staff and were involved with local education and health care. At the time, we had some wonderful volunteers who lived at Moya in very basic conditions. Our first job was to rebuild Moya Beach and in September 2003, building work started. Over the past 10 years, there have been about 300 volunteers who've been involved with our education, healthcare and environmental projects. The first education project RIP Africa supported was secondary school sponsorship program. And over the 10 years, over 200 students have benefited from this. Some of these students have also been helped through universities and colleges and it has been a wonderful opportunity for these young people. One of the major problems in the local primary schools was the lack of teachers so we started to employ our own local trainee teachers to assist in the schools. In 2006 Ripple Africa became involved with preschools which were initially held in people's houses but over the years, we have built several new school blocks. Ripple Africa, with the support of Thomson Tellers, are now running eight preschools with 26 teachers. There are about 70 children in each preschool. Over the years, we have educated over 1,500 children. We have benefited from Ripple Africa volunteers who are not only teaching but assisting in training our preschool teachers. It was made clear by the community that there was a need for a local secondary school as students had to walk 12 kilometres to the nearest secondary school and 12 kilometres home again. In 2006, work started on the first double classroom block at Kapanda Secondary School. Work has continued over the years and we now have four classrooms, teachers' offices, a physics laboratory and five teachers' houses. Um, Lipo Africa has helped Kapanda Secondary School a lot and we are proud of it. We are working very hard to make it the best school in the district. A really important project has been the Community Library at Moya, run by Mr Longwe and his assistants. The library was opened in November 2005 with Donika, a Ripple Africa volunteer. We set a well-organized system with 1,221 clients. We now have 4,000 books. Have I missed anything? Thank you very much for starting the other literacy here at Maya Community Library. Our early healthcare volunteers mainly assisted at Kacheri Health Centre and with various outreach programmes. However, since then, Ripple Africa has built a dispensary at Moya 
and employed Collins as our Disabilities and Rehabilitation Coordinator. Leap Africa, with the help from Monte Theory Hospital, is supporting the local health care programs. The Disability and the Rehabilitation Project is making tremendous difference among many of the people with disability in the community. I am very much privileged working with this project. My name is Rose, I'm a nurse from Australia. This is my second time volunteering with Ripple Africa and I have loved my time. I've worked in the dispensary, the health centres, Chimtechi Hospital and in the community. Ripple Africa is a charity that's making a very positive difference here. During the early years we became very interested in what was happening to the local environment. Every dry season there were bushfires all over the place and people were cutting down large areas of forest and just burning the trees where they fell to clear land for farming. It was at this time we met Force Nguira, who we employed and who is now in charge of all our environmental projects. In 2004, we established the tree nursery, which raised 50,000 seedlings, and we invited the chiefs to an environmental talk where they realized that they should plant trees and conserve their environment. Since then, we have helped the school clubs, uh, community clubs, individuals, and farmers uh, to plant trees, and we have so far planted 4 million trees in Katabay district. Whilst we were planting trees, it was evident that many trees were being cut down every day for inefficient three-stone cooking fires. Ripple Africa has introduced a very large project to benefit 40,000 households in Nkata Bay district. The idea is to provide a simple fuel-efficient cook stove called the Changu Changu Moto, which literally means fast, fast fire. My name is Catherine and I am the manager for the southern area of this project. This Changu Changu motor uses one third of wood, produces less smoke, and they are safe for children, and local people really like them. We have now helped lo uh, communities to come up with their own local bylaws in order to conserve their several hundred square kilometers of forest hills. We have recently introduced a fish conservation project to local communities uh, 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 along a 40 kilometer length of lakeshore. This is a very welcome project as an irregulated fishing has almost totally destroyed the fish stocks in the Lake Malawi. One area where Ripple Africa has been very active is in its many building projects. Over the years, Ripple Africa has built three preschools, ten classrooms, a physics laboratory, two teachers' offices, a library, a reading shelter, seven staff houses, a dispensary, and a numerous toilets, together with all the buildings at Mwaya Beach and Lowani Beach. And also not forgetting the new office at Chintechi. My name's Susie. I was a Ripple Africa volunteer and I was so inspired by my experience that I now work full time for the charity. I run the volunteer programme, which is a hugely important part of the charity. I look after the volunteers when they are in Malawi. We feel very lucky to have such hard-working and committed volunteers and for all the skills that they bring to our community. Hi, I'm Charlie. I work full time for Ripple Africa in Malawi, primarily on the Changu Changu Moto cook stove project. I first volunteered with Ripple for 11 months and loved it so much that when Jeff offered me a full-time position, I jumped at the opportunity. Aldenham School in Hertfordshire, England has sent a group of students and teachers for the past five years to experience life in rural Malawi and to see firsthand what Ripple Africa is all about. Coming to Malawi and Ripple Africa is an amazing experience for Aldenham students. My name is Megan. I've worked for Ripple Africa since 2009 as the UK Projects Manager. I'm really, really passionate about the charity. I have been since I was a volunteer. And it's really exciting that the charity has such a promising future now. Um, we have Kay in the United States who just started Ripple Inc. and is looking after things um, in the US for us. We have a really exciting team of staff and trustees in the UK which are young, really enthusiastic and have a great influence over the charity and hopefully the charity will continue to go from strength to strength. 
The past 10 years have been an incredible journey. We started with just 12 staff. Today we have over 150 Malawian staff and probably 2,000 people that are working on our projects. Now we couldn't have done this without our donors. And this film shows how your money has been spent. It shows the difference that you have made. Now whether you've volunteered your time, whether you've sponsored a student, whether you've held a fundraiser, or whether you've made a donation, on behalf of Ripple Africa, we'd like to thank you. Thank you for building the library at the heart of our community. Thank you for building the best school in Malawi. Thank you, my Lord Eddie, for transporting timber and bricks and other things. Yeah, thank you for my Shangu Shangu Moto. Thank you for the sweet potato program. Thank you for building these two classroom blocks for our learners. Thank you for my brother's operation. Thank you, Fleet for Office, to help to plant guava trees. Thank you for providing training teachers at my primary school. Thank you for building my dispensary. Thank you for helping me with my diploma in accountancy. Thank you for my daughter's operation. Thank you very much. Thank you for my trees. Thank you for helping us build our school at Katendere. Thank you very much. Thank you for helping us to conserve our fish in the lake. Thank you for supporting the underpass clinic at Maya. I thank you for assisting Chomba Primary School to plant these trees. Thank you for helping us to protect our forest. Thank you for sending me to Central School and then on to university. Thank you, Thank you for building our preschool.